So once again, I think I ordered this in November. And this is the probably last thing I'm going to purchase for a long time. I know I say that all the time, but this is for real. Um, because uh, my wife and I finally bought a home. And we're going to be moving. And we're very happy. Very excited. But uh, yeah, getting back to this box. I bought this back in November. And it, they told me that it wasn't going to be ready until um, June going to be shipped to me until June but then I got a surprise phone call from Sweetwater the other day and said it has arrived and they are shipping it out pronto so I'm going to do an unboxing video of this and then set it up and I will show you what it looks like all right guys all right guys so here it is I know uh this is a weird setting <clears throat> you notice this is from my old studio desk uh, giving this to a buddy of mine um, we're in the process of packing things and, and I'm in the process of unpacking something right now this is a fresh box open uh, that I got from Sweetwater and I can't wait to see this I've been wanting one of these no lie I played a real one back in the early oh, late 90s I should say um, and this company that everybody doesn't like, but I do, and I don't care what people say, I like them. They actually created one of these for a lot less money than the one that Korg created. And that is, oh look, I got sweet water candy and some guides. Yeah. And here it is. This is, let me get out of the box. Behringer ARC 2600. Yeah, very excited about this. Let me put it over here for a sec. Get this box out of the way. So, yeah, so like I said, I got this back in November before we even decided to buy a home. We were looking, but we didn't buy anything yet. And I promise that this is gonna be the last piece of gear that I purchased, because I've actually per put a lot of gear away. Um, I put a lot of stuff away with the new studio design. And, you know, I decided that I'm gonna go a little bit more minimal, even though there's still a lot of gear in my studio. Um, and here we go, we've got the manual, the power supply, and the unit. Get that out. Put this box right here. Get these ears off. because the way the studio is designed now there is actually a spot for this in my rack um, which is really it worked out well uh, I stopped buying things after this because I got the new desk and I got uh, my base came in a lot of things I traded Woo! look at that would you look at that here? Let's get a little closer look here. There it is. Can't wait to fire this bad boy up. All right. Peace, stay creative. I'm gonna do some videos on uh, what this thing sounds like. So here we go. Put the final screw in. All right. There it is, all set perfect place for that unit which is very interesting um, yeah so let me see here now we gotta do the power cable and uh, we'll fire this bad boy up well the power is up and running now all I gotta do is hook it up to the mixer and test it out
So yeah, so I was just making some noises, um, just showing you some different patches that I did. Uh, basically, I will be doing some other cool stuff. I've already done some cool bass lines. I've already written actually part of a song using this. Uh, it's very cool, very good for really sound creation and sound design. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue to work through this and check it out. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress and I'd probably be using this for a long time and learning how to use it for a long time. Peace.